Lee is editor-in-chief of the Hong Kong Free Press. So what exactly is being decided today, Tom? Well, it's an election like no other in that only 20 seats in this 90-person legislature are going to be elected by the public today, slashed by half following uh, Beijing's overhaul. Though Chief Executive Carrie Lam says this system is more representative. Another 40 of these seats are going to be chosen by a committee of nearly 1,500 Beijing loyalists. And that leaves 30 seats chosen by special interest groups, including corporations like foreign banks. Now, Beijing says it's an improved system. It brings stability, prosperity, ensuring patriots rule the city and preventing the uh, anti-China elements, as they put it, from holding power or filibustering. But, you know, bear in mind that all 153 candidates today have been vetted by several layers of, of committees, each have undergone a national security probe, whilst most of the usual pro-democracy figures we're used to seeing out on the streets, they are behind bars, in self-exile, abroad, or they've been banned from running or have quit politics. Though certainly some we have spoken to today have said they're casting their ballot because they support the government and they oppose the disruption. So even in places where people have a choice, um, they don't have much of a choice. Right. I mean, it's being described as a quiet or subdued election. None of the colour, drama or even debate really of the usual carnivals we, we're used to seeing in Hong Kong at this time. I mean, I, our team across the city have seen only a trickle of mostly senior voters so far in the three or four hours the um, polls have been open. 10,000 police officers deployed, though, 900 anti-corruption officers at polling stations. And certainly over recent weeks, it, it's been a struggle sometimes to understand what candidates' policies are. A few don't even appear to have a manifesto or, or social media presence. Um, one candidate even has a platform under the banner, No Change. And the only really drama we've seen in the run-up is one candidate calling uh, for a metro station in a town that's had one for over 30 years, raising questions really about how some of these relatively unknown uh, figures know their communities. Mm. Uh, what of turnout? Presumably that will be scrutinised closely. Uh, opponents of all of this will say if not many people vote, that that says it all as regards um, whether the election counts for much. But what about those in power if, if not many vote? Yeah, it's clear the authorities are, are concerned about that. I mean, the outcome of the election is can be taken for granted somewhat, but turnout is the big question. Uh, surveys suggest it's going to be very low, though Chief Executive Carrie Lam seems to have got ahead of it somehow and, and suggested that that might mean the government is doing well and its credibility is high if people aren't hitting the polls. There have been special cues put on for the elderly and pregnant posters, videos, banners across the city. The COVID tracing app that, that we're using in Hong Kong is not required at polling stations. And there's been free transport put on across the city on trams, buses, MTRs, in apparent bids to, to boost turnout. Also, uh, border zone polling stations so that those in the mainland can nip over and cast a ballot if they're eligible. And another one opened in a, in a, in a quarantine centre. So th this will be the big question today. Since surveys have shown, we're likely going to see a poor showing. Tom, thank you very much. Uh, Tom Grundy, ed Editor-in-Chief of the Hong Kong Free Press.